Hi everyone, I am Leo from ThemeRex.net, Envato Power Elite Author. I will show you how to make a website for your web studio in less than 15 minutes. I personally like this theme called Eject because of its simple and very functional design. It has plenty of useful blocks that can be used for future website or removed if not needed. The theme has three layout options. We just saw the default option. Let's check the option number two. It looks nice as well. There is also a boxed type of layout for fans of box style. I am sure there are web agencies that will love it. So let's get started. My control panel has an option of easy WordPress installation, so I will use it. It takes a few seconds. I will save my login and password in order to access the WordPress admin panel. Let's go to our WordPress admin panel and enter the saved credentials. We are in. Navigate Appearance, Themes, Add New. Press Upload Theme. Find the zip file eject.zip and press Install Now. Okay, the installation has been started and may take a minute or two. Meanwhile, I will explain why I chose this very theme. First of all, it has an outstanding design and multiple header, footer, and body options. Secondly, it is new. It was released in October 2017. The theme has numerous useful blocks, modules, items, and at the same time, it is very simple and does not look overloaded. It has a visual composer and revolution slider which I am going to show you shortly. Okay, the theme has been installed with all languages. Let's activate it. Navigate to Appearance, Themes, click Activate Eject. Now let's install needed plugins. Click on Begin Installing Plugins. Choose all the recommended plugins and activate them. Now let's go back and install demo content. In Dashboard, navigate to Appearance, Install Demo Data. I will import all the demo data. I will be able to disable the elements that I do not need later. Okay, it started loading, and it also may take a few minutes, so let's be patient. It will import demo posts, media files, thumbnails, theme mods, theme options, widgets, essential grid, and revolution slider that I will show you soon. It is important not to close the window with the loading process since it will interrupt the demo installation and you will have to start over. All right, our demo content is installed, and it offers to check your site, so let's do that. The website is just like on the demo, with all the blocks and content. Let's customize it. Click Customize on the top bar. Here, you can customize most of the main settings of your website. For example, logo, Flavicon, and site title. I will edit the title, tagline, and leave the logo as it is. Return back and press header. Here you can modify your header style, widgets, change header background, or even add video. I will keep the default settings. 
Now let's go back and customize the menu. Navigate to Menus, Main Menu. I will simply delete those items that I will not need. As an option, you can simply create a new menu, but it is faster for me to do it this way. So I will leave Home button, Our Team, Services, of course, About, Blog for my posts, Portfolio, and Contacts. So as you see, it takes me only one minute to create my menu. Now let's go back and press Save and Publish. Let's see what we got. The menu has changed accordingly. Let's edit our footer. Scroll down to see how it looks now. Press the Customize button on the top bar again. Wait while Customizer is loaded and scroll down to our footer. As you can see, you can make modifications right on the website. Let's change our contact details, our email, address, and phone number. Now we can change the footer menu. I will remove the items I do not need. Let's delete Features and Projects. And also I will reduce the number of recent news from 3 to 2, so our footer will look less loaded. Now press Save and Publish. I will go out Customizer. Go to Contacts page. I will edit it with Visual Composer. Press Edit with Visual Composer on the top bar. Once it is loaded, let's customize the Contacts section. I will edit the address, phone, and email sections. Press Save Changes and see the result. Changes have been applied successfully. Press Update on the top bar and exit the composer. Let's go to Our Team page. It has a section about the company and the section with our team members below. This section has an awesome hover effect that shows the employee name, position, and social icons. Let's add our own team member. On the top bar, New Team Member. Let's add Henry Rise as a team member. Add some description. Scroll down and add excerpt. Below, we can find position and brief info. Now let's add his Facebook page. Add Facebook to the title field, URL to his Facebook profile, and choose the proper icon.
add the team member's email address and add the photo by pressing Set Featured Image. Now we are ready to publish our team member. Let's check the page. The team member and all the info has been added successfully. Now let's scroll down to testimonials. I personally like the way they were designed very much. You can switch reviews by pressing arrows or clicking on the image. Let's add a new testimonial. On the top bar, click New Testimonial. Add the name of the reviewer and the text of the testimonial itself. Scroll down and add excerpt and review subtitle. Let's add the image. I will use the same image I used for my team member. We are good to go. Press publish and check the page again. Now we can see Henry in the testimonial section. Let's go to Services page. Here we have three main services, Website Design, Customer Support, and Development. Let's add a new service. On the top bar, press New Service. Let's add SEO as our new service. I will copy and paste a pre-made description of the service. Service Group, choose Services. Also add a short description below. Let's choose the icon for our SEO service. I will choose a loop. I will also show you how to enable widgets for your pages. Press Widget tab. Let's add a sidebar on the right side. In the Sidebar Widget section, choose Sidebar Widget Value. I will add a featured image. I prepared it beforehand and I will load it from my computer. OK. Now we are ready to publish our new service. Let's check the result. We can see our services page, all the info that we entered and the sidebar is there. Let's switch to our services page and our new service is here. It will also automatically be added to our main page. We can see it now in the section Creative Solutions. Let's check our main page again. Of course, those blocks you do not need, you can remove using Visual Composer. You can also change the order or add your own elements to the page. And last, but not the least, an outstanding tool called Revolution Slider. Let's give it a quick look. Press Slider Revolution on the top bar. You will see the slider editor in front of you. You can choose the background, source, texts, blocks, very nice visual filters, also, you can add parallax 3D effects. You can modify the style of your slides and content, change transition, animation, etc. And this can be done for each slide individually. It is an awesome tool, which makes your online presentation memorable. Let's make some easy changes to move the text block and edit the text itself. Let's move the second text block. Scroll up, save changes, and check the result. Yep, the changes have been applied successfully. Okay, so our mission is completed. We made our Web Studio website in less than 15 minutes. Was it easy? Absolutely.